in this video i'm going to show you how to create mockups like this for your flyers in photoshop this can be used after you've created a flyer and you want to share it on social media so this will be a nice way to present your flyers on social media and this is coming up <laughs> hi everybody innocent here and welcome to the channel over here we make videos like this if that is something that sounds like you're interested kindly consider subscribing inside the description of this video will be a link to download the resources that i'll be using you can also download them and try it out and in case you do you can send it to me on instagram or on twitter so that i take a look and then we interact over there now let's get into photoshop and let's get started I'll be doing this in Photoshop 2021, but this should work with any other version. The first thing that you need to understand that before you can do this, your flyer has to be ready. So you should be in the position where you've already created your flyer before you proceed to this particular session. I'm going to make use of one of the flyers that I created recently for a church and I have the tutorial on YouTube as well if you want to check it out. So in this case, if you are going to create a whole new size for it or a whole new document for it any size that you want should be fine in this case i decided to go with a4 this is because a4 is going to give me a lot of space that i can put my flyer and i can as well do the same thing for my mock-up my phone mock-up okay so i'm going to choose a4 right over here if you don't have it at your recent you can go to print and then a4 is right over here and then you choose the orientation to be landscape and you click on create so there are a couple of ways to go about this the first one is if you've already created your psd you have your psd you can save it as a jpeg like i have it on my machine right now and then you can import it into photoshop all right so let's quickly bring in the, the flyer because you've already created it so we go to file place embedded and then you are going to select the flyer that we want to use i'm going to make use of the two of these so that you make your choice so I'll select the first one right over here and then I'm going to put that on the left side. So I'll position it somewhere around here. I'm going to open it up. So that is going to be the main flyer. Okay. So you can press control in and make sure that it is centered in the middle like that. And now we need to bring in our phone. That is going to be the mock-up. Okay. So let's go into the resource and then place embedded. I got these two mockups phone mockups from pngwing.com you can also get some from png tree png egg and a lot of other png websites that i talked about on this channel you can check the description for links to these png sites now you can make use of any one of them let's go for this one right over here so you bring your phone in and then you are going to place it over here you take your time and then you are going to resize it to the size that you want so i want to place my somewhere around here and that place should be fine you can press ctrl a of course so ctrl a and make sure that it is centered so that the alignment works out now understand that this is a png it is taking the background of the project that it is on so if we add a new background for instance over here you'd realize that it will assume that background so this place is empty we can put anything that we want over there in this case we are making use of the facebook type of post but if you want instagram and any other social media as well you can literally use the same process to do this so i got a facebook header and a facebook photo kind of the likes and the shares and then the top part of the facebook when you open the facebook phone application okay so the first thing we're going to bring in is the facebook header so we go to file and then place embedded and then you can bring in your facebook header so i call it the facebook header okay now i don't want the edges so i can rasterize this layer choose my rectangular marquee tool and then i can get rid of this side so i'll get rid of this side too and then this particular side okay so once you have this it has to be under the let's call this one mock -up, phone mockup okay so uh, the facebook header has to be underneath of the phone mockup so we bring it underneath like that and then we can position it somewhere around here press ctrl t and then we can stretch it out a little excuse the blurry because i had to crop it from somewhere i didn't get an actual one for this so 
you can position it somewhere around here and this should be fine in some instance you can even get one that says what's on your mind and the post will be there now remember that this is the post that we are portraying in the phone mockup so we are going to make a duplicate of this flyer so you make a duplicate and then we can drag it to where we have the phone so you can press ctrl t and transform it to be smaller a bit and then of course this has to go on top of the facebook header so you drag it on top like that so that it will show and then you are going to take your time to position it so that it fits inside the phone okay so the next thing is going to be the header so the header too is going to be on top of this one so we go to file place embedded and then you can place in your footer or anything that you want to call it okay so we are going to bring that also over here press ctrl t and then you can transform it like that and just like that you've created this beautiful mockup so this is going to be the mockup you can select from here to the phone you can group it and it's going to be the mockup so right over here you can just group it and make any changes that you want to make to it but you don't want to leave the background so empty like this so we want to make a duplicate of the main flyer again and then we can right click rasterize the layer and this time around we can try to open this up to make it bigger like that you double click on it and then you can go to filter blur and then gaussian blur so that you can actually make the background blurry so the higher the radius the blurry the background becomes and the lower it is you understand so you can set it up high like that and when you are satisfied you can click ok here now we can add anything like saturation so that the background will be a bit deeper than what we have at the front and then we can add a shadow to this as well so that it separates it from the background so to do that you're going to right click on the dominion that is the flyer go to the blending options and then you can add your drop shadow so select your drop shadow and then you can increase your size and maybe your spread and you can increase your opacity as well and you can click ok now if you take a critical look over here you realize that there is a huge block between this white and that part over here so we have to add another white layer to this part so that it fit and you can even see here so you just need to take your time to check all of these things so you can go and right click on the footer press ctrl t and then you can transform it some more so that it fills that part we are going to add a rectangle to this as well so you select your rectangle and then you can draw up to the edge of the footer so we are going to change the color to color white and click ok and now our mock-up is ready so these are you can easily make your designs attractive by using mock-ups to share it on social media another way you can save yourself time is also to post the thing on facebook so you post your actual flyer on facebook before you take a screenshot of it and then you can place it in the mock-up over here i believe that is going to save you a lot of time let me illustrate that to you so you realize that this is a so apart from this everything down here becomes a part of the mock-up so instead of going through all this process i can just post it on facebook and then i'm going to take a screenshot of that and send it right in here so let's go to our resource file and then i have a screenshot that i just took over there so you're going to select that and then you place it right underneath of the mockup you are just going to transform it so transform it like that and you'd even realize that this looks more real and more legit as compared to the other one but sometimes you don't want to post the flyer separately before you post this mockup and that is when the first steps or the first approach becomes very useful but if you've already posted it on facebook or on instagram or any other place you can use this method as well to make your design look presentable now if you want to make changes it is quite very simple you just replace all of these with the other flyer that you want to replace it let's quickly take a look at that so i'm going to turn this off turn the rest or the first ones on and then we are going to quickly replace this so first of all we're going to replace this and that is going to be on top here so let me group all of these ones and call it d1 i'm going to make a duplicate of that and hide the first d1 
and then we can open the second one and make the changes to it so let's go to file place embedded and then we place our second flyer now you take your time to transform it you can even leave the other flyer over here or perhaps you can copy this fx onto your main flyer and get rid of the first one because you don't need it anymore so we are going to make a duplicate of this one and then drag it inside of our mockup so remember our mockup is over here that is the group one so we are going to select that and then delete we locate this particular photo and then we are going to delete that and we are going to replace it with this copy that we made over here so you press ctrl t bring it inside of your phone and then you can transform it nicely as well once you're done with this you can then make one more duplicate of your main flyer select the down one and then you can press ctrl t open it up like so and then you can open it up as well like this so we can bring it up small like that and then we can right click rasterize go to filter blur and then gaussian blur and then it is going to blur out for us also you don't have to always use a copy of the flyer to make the background you can actually use something like a solid color or even a gradient so with a solid color we can go for something like this as well so something like that perhaps you can even make it a bit darker so that it doesn't blend with the actual background over there but of course in most cases using one of or the main flyer as the background only that you need to make some adjustment to it like adding saturation makes the whole thing look very presentable so you can have something like this and now if i turn this one off and turn this one you realize that we have this and then we have that now let me know in the comment section which of these two are your favorites and just like that you create an amazing mock-up that you can use to present your works on social media so that it attracts clients and it attracts people that you can work with again don't forget that the links to all the resources that i used are in the description you can download it or you can go to my website straight away and then download it i'll be gaining value out of this video if you did a subscribe to the channel it will be so very amazing thank you so much for sticking around to watch this video i'll see you guys in the next video it's innocent here and bye